Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. And it is now 2022. I wanted to continue on with my reviews of my top five picks for 2021. And today I wanted to get into my top five Yeezy pickups of 2021. They won't all be from this year. One of the pairs was actually from 2017, but it's a pair that I always wanted, and I'm pretty pumped to have it in the collection. What's up, Bubba? How you doing, buddy? Looks like somebody's up from their nap. I was going to try to do this outside, but uh, it's too rainy, and it's actually still pretty early, but you can see how dark it looks out there. So we're going to do this one inside. What shoes you got, bud? I got You got your Hyper Royals. It's a good looking shoe. All right, Bubba's gonna sit here with us. Let's get into the top five Yeezy pickups of 2021. Sound good? Okay. We don't to go to Grammy's house. We are gonna to go to Grammy's house. First on my list of top five Yeezy pickups of 2021. Okay. Everybody knows what this is. This is the Yeezy 350 V2 in the zebra colorway this is actually a dead stock pair these are size 13. i ended up grabbing these off my cousin he came into these this being the 2017 pair it's got the darker translucent gum outsole i know on some of the more recent pairs you couldn't really see the contrast too much with this like stripe that comes up from the outsole on the back I don't even know if that's coming through too much here in this artificial light but I just think overall this is a pair that I have always wanted if I would have had to say my favorite Yeezys the Zebras would always be very very high on that list so to have a pair in dead stock I'm pretty pumped about that once again my cousin came through with a good hookup this was a different cousin then I got nice. the... More I know, it is raining, isn't it? Yeah. This is These came from a different cousin than the one that I got the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's off of, but he's actually the brother of that cousin, so they're definitely taking care of their cuz. So, shout out to... Shout out to D. I appreciate this, and I love this pair of shoes, so that's my first one on my top five Yeezy pickups of 2021. All right, next up, this was a pickup from Yeezy Day this year, which I went after a whole lot of shoes, and I took a whole lot of L's. I was able to hit for two pair on Yeezy Day. This is the Dark Glow 700 V3, and I also hit on the clear brown power phase Yeezys, which those are also dope. They're really under the radar. I think I think they're a pretty cool pair of shoes. However, I think this pair is insane. And I think that the demand for these is starting to go up as time goes on. They are basically just like the, is it the Alvas? I think that's what they're called. It's just like a 700 V3 that was released before. However, the TPU cage that's on the outside of here actually glows blue instead of the green that we usually get. And, you know, the, the color of the glow really doesn't make any difference to me. I just think these things are real, real dope looking. I love that the majority of this shoe is black. I love the shape of it. I like how unique it is and everything. And I really like these little like gray accents going through this kind of mesh type siding that we have on it. And all together, I just think this is a real dope pair of kicks. At first, I, I felt like I really lost out on Yeezy Day, you know. I felt like I should have been hitting a whole lot more. I still haven't got my Wave Runners or anything, which is probably the Yeezy that I want more than any other Yeezy. But the more I look at these things, the more I like them. And as soon as I got these in hand, I knew that this was a pretty good W to take. So this is the second pair on my top five Yeezys 
of 2021. All right, so here we're sticking with the 700 family. This one is a 700 V2. This is actually my first and only pair of 700 V2s, and this is the mauve colorway. I just think these things are so sick. Mrs. Butter doesn't care for these too much, but this is honestly one of my favorite Yeezys of the year. It might be my favorite Yeezy of the year, if I'm being honest. Well, no, there's one There's one that's definitely better than that, higher on the list than that. However, I think these things are so sick. I love all the layers of this like grayish, bluish nubuck material. And I really like the knit that we have down here on the base of the shoe. I also just love the colors. I love this mauve color, along with having a gum outsole i'm a big fan of boost cushioning it's got full length boost and i haven't thrown these on foot yet these are still dead stock but this is a pair that i'm really glad to have in the collection and these won't be going anywhere these will be staying with me for a while i really like the reflective hits on here there you can see one right on the front of like the toe box area and then these stripes going back they're reflective as well and also the laces have little reflective hits in them but i think this shoe i i'm surprised that you don't hear more about this shoe and i mean i guess that really doesn't even matter to me i just really think this shoe is dope looking and I think it's very deserving to be on my top five Yeezy pickups of 2021. All right, next one. Next up on my list of top five Yeezy pickups of 2021 is the Wash Orange 700 V1. Now, I know a lot of people might be wondering why this one's on my list. I said before, I think my favorite Yeezy that I would like to add to the collection is the Wave Runner. I have been chasing after those things time and time again, and I just always take L's. It seems like it's just one of those shoes that I can't hit for retail. Just I just can't bring myself to pay resale prices for the Wave Runners just because of how expensive they are. But these definitely remind me of the Wave Runners. I would still prefer to have the Wave Runners, but these are close enough that I am thrilled to add these to my collection in my personal size. I still really, really want the Wave Runners, but the 700 V1 is just such a cool, cool silhouette. It's like a fashionable dad shoe or something, you know, but I just love the colors, the green, the blue, the grays, the black. I love the reflective hits. I just think these shoes are so, so dope and I'm pumped to have them in my size in the collection. So that's number four on my top five Yeezy pickups of 2021. All right, last one. And here we have it. This is my favorite Yeezy pickup of 2021. I have always wanted the Belugas. Of course, this year the Beluga Reflectives dropped and I didn't hit on them. I woke up at 6 a.m. and I was already, you know, they started dropping at like 7 a.m. on some foot retailer sites and I just took L's everywhere. I didn't hit on Confirm, didn't hit on Yeezy Supply. There were two times that I had them in court and I just couldn't check out. It wouldn't go through, but I did pay resale for these and I think it's worth it in my opinion. But this is my favorite Yeezy pickup of 2021.